Hey all, I sort of thought uh, it's a bit of an occasion, so I thought I'd I'd uh, mark the occasion with a bit of a short video. Um, as uh, most of you know, I started Trades Galaxy about two years ago. I think I think if I knew how much work it would be, I may not have started it. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just uh, a one sort of one man operation here working out of my garage and I also have a day job because uh, you know bot wars not gonna pay the bills just yet and um, so anyway this is the very first bot war starter set off the production line so uh, pretty cool um, thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing I'm not really I don't really watch a lot of unboxing stuff and I'm going to be biased, so it's probably not the best review if you're looking for a review of quality and all that sort of stuff. I think it's it's pretty good for what I can achieve. So um, so yeah, so as you can sort of see, nice matte black box. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the phone with the other hand. Um, and once again, most of you will know that my videoing skills aren't fantastic. So. Uh, so yeah, so nice, solid, sturdy box there. Bit of weight in it. It's probably going to cost me a fair bit to post that, since I, I have a free post worldwide. So um, if you spend over 200 Australian dollars. So I wish I could actually put uh, US dollars or UK pounds on the website, but in Australia you can't advertise your products in foreign currency, I think. So, uh, plus it's a pretty, I think, um, anyway, anyway, it might be too complicated. So, um, so yeah, so nice, sturdy, solid box. Um, just what have we got inside? Okay. So some of you have seen this stuff before. Um, it's obviously nice bot war tape measure here. And then we've, so we've got, uh, Nice matte black tape measure. Um, yeah, just logo bot wall. Just so I just thought a tape measure, like I always use tape measures, better than measuring sticks and stuff. I probably could have done measuring sticks, might have been cheaper. But uh, I don't know, I just feel that tape measure is it's pretty good. Adds a bit of weight to the box though. So, got that. So, we've got our 11 shrink wrap stack cards here. So, they turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. It's all nice and handy shrink wrap. So we've got here, we've got our dice and energy cubes. We've got 50 cubes in there, so plenty of cubes to do like bigger battles and stuff like that. Really, you could get away with playing Bot War with just one, this one dice set forever, I think, really. Don't need multiple dice sets unless you like rolling your own dice. So, but yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, what do we got next? Let's have a look at this. So these are the Atlanticans. So as you, these were a nightmare to cast. <laughs> so um, as you can see, they're pre-assembled. So you've got the actual legs are on all the models. So you can literally just glue them straight to the base, then glue arms and head on, done. So, so yeah, I've tried to also put all the parts for each individual model on a little sprue so you don't get confused about what goes where. So it makes it pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to I didn't want to mold the heads on them because I always like to adjust my heads and stuff like that where they're looking and things like that just for a bit of a bit of control over the pose. But anyway. I don't know whether you guys would feel the same, but um, but yeah, I felt looking at some of the the models um, with the legs separate. Uh, it looks like some people have struggled to like glue the legs on. So a lot of bot war models will be coming out with legs on already, except the bashes, which are a bit more advanced. So anyway, there's the Atlanticans. Oh, you obviously got six in here. You got your four mud warriors, Aegon, Naomi, Nebulous, and Thermal, and then you've got Stingray and Moray in there as well. 
Okay, these are the Valiants. And once again, you'll see all these models, which are now exclusive um, to this set, all have the legs on. So you can literally, and, and all the armholes fit perfectly. <laughs> well, they should. I'm pretty sure they have tested them all. So, um, so yeah, so you should just be able to glue arms and head on and glue them to the base, done. No mucking around, gluing legs and all this sort of business. So, uh, so yeah, pretty cool there. And obviously we've got our full color rule book, A5. So, uh, I have actually updated the downloadable rule book in the thing to be this rule book. And, um, there are two small typos, um, apologies. Um, I know you can read these things a hundred times and miss two, but they're not related to the rules. It's just in one of the stories and one of the examples. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they're the only two. So, but I'm pretty pleased with that. So, you have to be a bit of a jack of all trades. I think if you're running a games and miniature company um, by yourself, you have to be writer, um, writer, editor, uh, project manager, cast, manufacturer, uh, lots of lots of different hats. Anyway, so uh, there we have it. That is the Bot War starter set. I really do hope that you guys enjoy the set. I have tried to ramp it up from ramp it up in quality from my first edition models and you know the um just in general like because i do feel that it's um oops sorry uh that is my goal to just continually and you know, improve quality um and i hope you enjoy playing the game and uh i'll be should be shipping these out uh probably in the next week uh, over the probably at the end of this week I'd say mainly just because I've got to still cast chopper so for some of the early pre-orders that um, happened in June so um, I'll cast chopper tonight and um, yeah and so um, so yeah guys look thank you so much for your those who supported me so far I couldn't certainly have done any of it without you. For any then that hasn't taken the bot war plunge yet, um, give it a shot. Um, I'll be obviously I'll be appreciative, but normally I try to always give little bonuses to people with like your exclusive miniatures and different bit, bits and bobs that come out each month. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to stay around long term and uh, keep supporting Bot War. So uh, give it a shot with your mates at the club, send links, share this stuff around so I can I can get out there a bit more. It's, it's quite hard in such a noisy social media world to get out there. But uh, yeah, whatever support you can give me, um, I really appreciate it, always. Thanks guys, see ya, bye.